A hospital in Michigan accidentally posts the medical records of thousands of patients on the internet. A health insurer loses the financial, health, and personal information of 450,000 customers and fails to notify them for six months. And two of the largest pharmacy chains in the U.S. are found discarding patient records and other legally protected information in unsecured dumpsters. This unnecessary exposure of private information should be alarming. In fact, since the creation of the HIPAA Act, the Department of Health and Human Services has investigated approximately 8,000 legitimate complaints of privacy violations. These statistics are simply unacceptable. As professionals who work in health care, how we protect personal health information is just as much a part of our jobs as the care we deliver. At stake is not only the privacy of the individual's care, but the security of personal information which could be used for medical identity theft and other illegal purposes. And as healthcare continues to adopt technology to coordinate patient care, such as electronic health records and computerized physician order entry, the need to protect electronic health information is becoming more and more important. In 2003, the Department of Health and Human Services began enforcing the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act, or HIPAA. Essentially, the HIPAA law protects the security and privacy of all medical records and other health information that is used or shared in any form, and protects patients' rights by giving them access to their health information and control over how it is used. In 2009, as part of the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act, also known as the Stimulus Bill, even more changes were made to the HIPAA privacy and security standards, including requirements for addressing breaches. There are certain businesses called covered entities that must follow the HIPAA rule. These include entities that provide or bill for medical care and services, such as hospitals, skilled nursing facilities, home health agencies, ambulatory surgery centers, and physician offices. Entities that pay for medical care or process health information in order to conduct financial and administrative transactions, such as a health plan, health care clearinghouse, or a claims processing or billing company and their business associates, such as third-party administrators. HIPAA is a federal law, so compliance is not voluntary, it's mandatory. And ignorance of the law is no defense. As an employee of a healthcare facility, you must become aware of your role in protecting the privacy and security of your patient's health information, or subject yourself and your facility to dire consequences. Anyone that obtains or discloses protected health information for personal or commercial gain, for malicious purposes, or by willful neglect is subject to termination, suspension, and criminal and civil penalties, including jail time and fines ranging from $100 to $50,000 per violation. Before we can explain the HIPAA privacy and security standards and how we are expected to follow them, it's important to understand some basic definitions. HIPAA is specifically concerned with protected health information, or PHI, which is defined as information that relates to the health of an individual, the health care provided to that individual, or payment for health care provided. PHI is protected whether it is spoken, electronic, or written. PHI includes information that can be used directly or indirectly to identify an individual, such as name, address, birth date, social security number, or medical record number. The bottom line is that any information that relates to a patient's health cannot be disclosed or shared unless authorized either by the patient or someone acting on the patient's behalf, or unless permitted by HIPAA regulation. Additionally, the facility must limit access to only those individuals who need the information for a legitimate purpose. For example, an insurance company may need to access private information in order to pay a claim, but they cannot share this information with the patient's employer. The doctors or nurses in a hospital who are involved in the direct care of a patient need complete access to all the medical records of a patient in order to provide the best care possible. 
but a lab worker processing the patient's test would not need full access since this information is not vital to evaluating the tests. This nurse used her position to access a co-worker's health record and is gossiping about the results. Since this nurse is using private medical information for personal and malicious purposes, she is in clear violation of HIPAA regulations. The nurse could be suspended or terminated by the hospital.